Our first guests today are going to share an amazing story. Stop what you're doing right now. I want you to look at this picture. It's truly amazing. This little baby is Sila. She was a baby now. She's 11 years old, and she joins us today along with her mom. Together, they're going to share miracles still happen. And the healing began by visiting Discover Health and Wellness, and now one of the largest groups of health and wellness centers in the state. Now, we're here today with Dr. Kepin Laszlo and his team. They specialize in healthy health care, utilizing chiropractic massage and toxicity cleanses. Part of the team, chiropractor Dr. Cameron Hall, and from the picture you just saw, Dr. Hall's patient, Sila, who's now 11 years old and totally gorgeous <laughs> and her mom Janice is here too nice to see all of you nice to see you nice to see I cannot you. wait nice to, to hear about your story Sila I mean you really are a miracle child but first I want to start with you Dr. Laszlo because you always bring the most inspirational guests and let's talk about what you do I mean you have this inspiration and you can see it on your face you love helping others I do it definitely comes from our wellness approach to healthcare. We love what we do. Uh, most people think of our offices as back pain, neck pain, and headaches, but it's so much more than that. We get to the source of the health challenge. Right. That's what makes us so different. And it's so cool. I met your, your family last time you were on. Today, we're going to center around miracles still happen. What do you yeah. mean by that? The power that made the body heals the body. That's mm -hmm. still very much alive. The spine and nervous system control it all. And when we line up the structure the way it's supposed to, we see miracles happen. And Dr. Hall, I have a feeling working with a man with this kind of conviction and this kind of energy has to be really rewarding. And it makes a difference <laughs> yes. in people's lives. It does, absolutely. Being a chiropractor is the most amazing profession in the world. Not only do we have a chance to work with your body's natural systems to relieve pain, but also prevent the need for surgery and going on pain medications in the future. Yeah. We have that chance to see miracles every day. No one wants to live on pain medication for the rest of their lives and just mask the problems. No. Why did you decide to become a chiropractor? Just simply to help people and to avoid the unnecessary surgeries and pain medications that some patients have to go on because of these chronic issues. Dr. Hall, I want you to elabor elaborate more on this fact that I have here. It says a person that has a healthy spine and nervous system, overall their health is better. Absolutely. Your nervous system is the master control center for your entire body. So from wiggling your small toe to blinking your eyes, your nerves control everything. Mm -hmm. So if there's pressure on those nerves, then the communication is disrupted, even minutely can cause changes. So mm -hmm. by relieving that pressure, we have a chance to get your body to optimal function. And Miss Janice, you and your daughter Sila both go and see Dr. Hall. I want to start with you first. Tell me why you decided to go to the doctor. You know, well, I started receiving care there as a result of taking Sila in to get care, and we continue to go to keep that power turned on so our bodies can do what they are designed to do. And now let's talk about your daughter, Sila, who, by the way, is just a rock star today. Is there anybody out there you want to say hi to? Your friends? Yeah. Who? I would like to say hi to my fourth grade class, Miss Krixie's class. Very nice. Look at that and smile. And Mrs. Ross's class. <laughs> and Mrs. Ross's class. So explain to me what happened with Sila. She was a very young, young baby when you went to go see Dr. Hall. She was. Well, you know, she was born premature at 33 weeks. And 24 hours after she was born, she started having seizures. And we came to find out that she had very severe bleeds in both the right and left ventricle. And because of the damage that was caused by those bleeds, she ended up having her first brain surgery when she was two weeks old oh and the doctors went in and put a shunt in uh, which is a little device that keeps the fluid from building up on her brain and she spent six weeks in neonatal intensive care and we brought her home um, and you know the doctor said that there's a good chance that she would not walk or she would have very uh, very difficult time with that because of the damage that was done by these bleeds on her brain um, and so she was almost two years old when I met Dr. Laszlo at a community event and he came over and talked to us and wanted to know about her story and was just so sympathetic and compassionate and kind and said you know I really really think that we can help I really think that we can help you and I will admit that I was extremely skeptical and nervous very, very, of course yes um, but at that point we really had nothing to lose so we started going in and um, seeing the doctor and about four weeks after we started going she took her first steps which was just before her second birthday wow that's fantastic yeah, that's not wonderful down since. <laughs> <laughs> look at it, she's a dancer she like look at that big grin on her yep. face so at 11 years old what do you like about going to see dr. Hall. Tell me about your experience. Um, I like going to 
Dr. Hall is because I like um Miss I like Dr. Hall because he, he he's a pretty nice guy, he, right? Yeah, and he when he's adjusting me, he does this funny. He does this funny when he's doing my adjustment. He does this funny little um finger wiggle. Finger wiggle when he's adjusting <laughs> me. A so. finger wiggle. We'll have to get into that in another date. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Do you feel a lot better after visiting? Yeah, I feel better and good. I feel 100%. 100%. That's good news. And mom, seeing those pictures before, I mean, that's just heartbreaking. When you have a baby, it's not supposed to be like that. No. You're supposed to take the baby home and, and life is supposed to be good. So what a blessing it is that you met Dr. Laszlo and Dr. Hall. Absolutely. Only 11 years old. What is it like for a kid to visit a, a chiropractor, a doctor? Is it a little intimidating or scary or do you enjoy it? Um, um, well, it can be scary if you've never right. been to a chiropractor. But then afterwards, it's okay. It, yeah. <laughs> you feel better after going a couple of times. And what other uh, health care options did you try, Janice, before you went to see Dr. Laszlo and Dr. Hall? You know, from when she was three days old, we started with physical therapy and occupational therapy, um, braces. You know, we, we used every tool that was available to us. Right. Yeah. And how were you feeling as a mom before you met this team, before you discovered health, uh, discover health and wellness? How were you feeling? Were you scared? Were you frightened? You no, know, I was. I was at that point where I was feeling very frustrated and, you know, kind of starting to lose hope a little bit and a little uncertain about what the future was going to look like for us. Well, I'm so happy it turned out well, and now you have that beautiful young lady sitting on your lap yes. saying hi to all the kids she's going to school with. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. Dr. Laszlo, let's focus more on uh, people that are watching because you want everyone to spring forward and, and really feel good about themselves, spring into wellness. And as you see, it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. They can definitely help you. Janice, viewers may be thinking and, and hearing your story, and they want to discover health and wellness. What would you say to them? But they were a little maybe intimidated they're not sure what to do I would say first of all I understand yeah. and then I would encourage them to take an hour out of their day to meet with one of the docs because it really could change your life dr. Hall you have to be smiling big right now having Absolutely. those two patients next to you knowing <laughs> yes. you changed their life is very cool